Yes, when I met here, we're at um, Neerham Creek, <laughs> Creek Bush Retreat, uh, having a family camp out. With um, we're here with Trev and Antoinette and Russ and Rachel. Rachel yes, uh, and the boys, and we've got our two nieces here. We got Ava Hi. and. Vivian's just going around the corner there somewhere with the dog. But Ava's, she's started this fire for us this afternoon. She reckons she's, well, she has done a good job. She's got it powering up. And she's a she's a member of the Scout Movement in Brisbane. Now, what's the name of that Scout Movement, Ava? Um, I'm part of Turinga Milton's Long Scout, move, um, scout Group. Yep. And it is part of the Queensland branch. Yep. So... So what what they're doing here is obviously teaching them pretty good because she's got this fire going like a beauty. And um, you're having a great big camp shortly, aren't you? Yeah, I'm going on Cabaree, which is a six-day, five-night camp um, up at Rocky Creek in Landsborough. Oh, that'll be good. I used to work down around there when I was with the council, so yeah. you'll have some fun there. Great big Cabaree, you said? Yeah. Yep. It's like a jamboree, but for cubs. Yep. So... She's, she's constructed this fire and got it going like an absolute beauty. She was showing me knots yesterday afternoon. She knows more knots than Uncle Mick. So that she showed me straight up. So that's, that's a bit of a worry, isn't it, when your 10-year-old niece knows a lot more about knots than someone 58 years of age. And uh, so what can I say? But um, we've all got, we've got, come on, Vivian, now that you come. Come and show us a sooty dog yeah, trick. Yeah, you better give us a sooty dog trick. That sounds really good. Now, this is... This is, Vivi this is Vivian, and this is Ava's little sister, and there's Sooty. See that? Oh, didn't even have to say anything. She sat. What, what else are you going to show us? Uh, well, I made Sooty and I told him how to um, tie the well, I got his paw and I told him how to lay down. Oh. <laughs> I think she's got too much energy I this think afternoon. She got camera shy. Yeah, she did. I, I get a bit camera camera shy and forget what to say, old Uncle Mick. No, well that's good. That's really good, Ava. You've done well on that. Um, few tips on making fires. Yep. You always want to start with um, anything that's dry is best. Yep. Dry kindling. Yeah. Um, so beforehand, if you know it's going to rain possibly and you're still going to have a fire, get some dry kindling beforehand, yep. that's one of my tips, and yep. keep it under a shelter so that yep. you can have the dry kindling to start. Yep. Um, you don't want to put huge logs on at the start, no. because otherwise it will just be a lot of smoke. Yep. You don't want green leaves and stuff like no. that, because there's sap in them, which is like liquid, which makes it smoky yep. again. Um, uh, you want as much as you can dry wood. Yeah. Um, you, um, uh, another tip is if you're using, um, if you're using, uh, matches, yeah. just light the match and hold it near the fire lighter. Yeah. And, um, when, when it gets too hot for you to hold anymore, just chuck it in the fire next yep. to the fire lighter. Yep. Another thing is at the bottom, you can have like cotton wool or, um, what's the other thing, cardboard. Yep. That really helps to catch on. Yeah. So start with small and get bigger and bigger. Yep. And I see you got like it's, you've got it like built up like a teepee there, I can yep. see. So yep. either have it flat yep. or like a teepee. I yep. find it easier to use a teepee. Yeah. Most um, scouts do it with a teepee. Yep. Some also do it with a crisscross pattern. Yeah. If you have a triangular fire pit. Yep. Um. Uh, yeah. So that's and what. That's I, it. Pardon? And that's it with it. Yeah. And yeah. um. Also, you want to try and get as me much heat in it as yes. possible. Well, I can clearly see you know what you're talking about because you've got that fire running well. Yeah. Um. So the scouts have taught you a lot already. Yeah. A bit now. Yeah. Um, you were telling me you're up 
in one of the two two liters or something, isn't it? Two. Uh, we've got about five liters yeah. and thirty-two in the. Yep, yeah. and you're and you're one of the five uh, of the liters. Oh yeah, of sixes. I'm one of the sixes, which yeah. means in a group you have four patrols. Yeah. I'm a patrol leader, which means I run the patrol. Oh yeah, and that's a group of how many? Seven to eight, it can vary yeah. on the size of the group. Because yep. we have a huge Cubs group. Yeah, so, so they're younger ones. Yeah. yeah. We've got a lot of younger ones that are just moving up. Yep. So we, um, yeah, I'm a patrol leader and one of, I am one of three or four girls in yeah. the scout movement. Oh, that's great. Group, so. And you really enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. I really enjoy it because I get to like experience new things. I would have never thought that I would have um, lit a fire with flint and steel, but there you go, I did. <laughs> Is that right? So you normally do start them with fire lighters, but do you? Uh, we use flint and steel. Oh, all the time? Yeah. Oh, is that right? Yep. Well, gee, you've done something our Uncle Mick hasn't done there too. Back in my day, it was petrol and we used to run. So that wasn't a good movement. <laughs> and, and I nearly burned all my red hair off once. <laughs> No, you've done well, Ava, so I'm going to shut this video down and uh, I'm going to put this one up on YouTube if you girls are happy. Yep. And uh, this is what we, our little Brisbane nieces do and uh, I think they, uh, I think it's great for them actually because they're learning skills that it's, it's, it's a lot better than them sitting in front of the computer going on about TikTok and everything else, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And are you going to give us a double thumbs up on that, Ava? Yeah, see, look at that, eh? So it's double thumbs up from over and Swinomic out. <laughs>